Hey, what's going on guys? Like I promised, here is the JB Anniversary Livestream Summary for the 7th Anniversary. So, let's get into it. So this will be kind of confusing for people who are on Global currently because this event hasn't even come to Global yet in its form. But, after a certain point there will become a point where you can obtain free crowns for that specific unit as you can see here. For Rain and for Terra for example and also Reno. Among others nowadays, that's only a small preview, but there's more. Um, you'll be able to get free crowns for them. But if you already crown them, you also can exchange them for real crowns. Um, so there's that as well. So what these keys allow you to do is do them permanently. They're, they are a permanent addition. Um, you can do them for free without keys if you did them during the event period. But afterwards, you can do them um, with these keys. So there's that. Interesting. They're allowing um, more filtering and things like that for this. The bottom one doesn't matter for global players because the level system isn't in global. Oh right, and also there, this is also another thing that doesn't really matter for global, but for JP players that are listening to me, uh, now you can you, you can finally UOC pre, uh, fe, summon festival units. <laughs> About three years too late, but now you can finally do it, guys. You can finally get some of these. Um, uh, STMRs that maybe you don't have a lot of. Um, so it, it's something, I guess. A 500 addition to all these expansion slots for free. I don't really... I haven't had any problems. Any, I, I haven't had problems like two years now for... for I, you know what I need is I need unit slots and things like that for free. Not these. So give me some unit slots, man. There'll be more filtering. Um... Based on categories and, and roles and things like that, you can do that as well now. And this is a small preview of what's to come. More preview. <laughs> and they show this is a very nice artwork. Very similar to the return story of last anniversary. Some story there. And here he is, Dios, basically Vlad. It's not really spoilers. Uh, Vlad, basically. It's just so, it's so weird, like, the, the armor part of his body looks like it's normal, but then it looks like they copy and pasted his head. Just look at, look at the difference between the artwork of his, the rest of him, and then look at the head. It just looks so off, but, okay. So Vlad is getting a new unit, and also Roka is also getting a new unit. Very cute sprite. Um, yeah, so, he has, he does, he has a brave shift form. Very nice, right? He does have a CG animation, which we'll be looking at, at least in picture form. And here is a, is it, yeah, here's a, something I called a long time ago, actually. I, probably, I don't even know where to find it in one of my videos. I definitely called it in one of my videos at some point, that they would eventually do a leader skill. So here's the leader skill, guys, the first leader skill of the game. And he'll be able to lead a certain amount of categories here. Uh, the first one, the first leader skill doesn't seem that amazing. Because he leads dark, basically, and or anniversary story. Uh, there really isn't. I don't know how you'd be able to make, make a really good team about them because there's not much to be involved with that. I mean, we'll have to figure it out. We'll have to figure it out, guys. But apparently, you can activate the leader skill, and then even if even if Vlad uh, gets KO'd, the leader skill will still be activated. Which is nice. Premium Envision card. It's literally better than um, Dark Reigns. However, this is Dark Locked. <laughs> it's funny to say that. Um, we we kind of know about Dark Locking nowadays, don't we? So Dark units can equip this, <clears throat> but it's it's a it's attack and magic, so it's even better. So very nice. However, his Timor and S Timor seems very rushed. It just has some Dragon Killer on it and then some flat, 500 flat attack for himself with the STMR there. So it seems very rushed, guys. I don't understand why that's the case, but it is. Um, he's a 24 hit LB um, chainer in his Brave Shift form, so 24 hits are back now. And so I guess 27, 27 hits are no longer the thing. Uh, I guess people maybe people were complaining that they made too many delayed set 27 hitters. They maybe said they shouldn't have done that. They're also doing the usual thing, like I mentioned a lot of the time they do this, where they 
make a whole bunch of units at a certain at a certain chaining family, and then they're like, oh, let's power creep by making a new chaining family or an old chaining family to come back, and now they're the ones that are going to get all the attention, and the 27 hitters are being power crept in that way because you can't work with you can't do 27 and 24 hits together in the same team unless you have two of the same. Like if you have two 27 hitters and two 24 hitters, I guess. So there's that. There's a small bit of a CG animation. That's all I've got. Roka, unfortunately, is SLB. Okay. And she gets a fire and fly attack on her STMR. Also, on her TMR is stop immunity. So, I mean, that's... It's decent, at least. Stop immunity. There's not a lot of that. So that's something. She has, she has an earth damage dealer. She still has the haste. But it's still only single target. Why couldn't it be AoE at this point? It's not that broken. There's only a few units that can actually benefit from this. Um, but she is an Earth Damage Dealer. And her Vision card is just kind of slightly better than uh, Poppy's. So there's that. And Carlet is getting a Neo Vision Awakening. Uh, for Global, this is a huge news. For JP, uh, not as big because you got to pay to get her. I can I can get her EX3. Now I've got all of them. I can get all of them to EX3 now. I've had I've had the first two EX3 a long time ago, but Carlet will now get a new Vision Awakening. She has 140% fire, or all the elements that she covers, I believe she has 140% amp, 140% uh, in peril for, which is not that amazing considering the other unit. Like we can have 160 nowadays, but okay. She also only has 85% breaks. Okay, so I'm hoping that she'll have something really interesting in her kit. She does have a giant. Um, Pentacast, I believe, but it's unique selection, so we'll have to figure out how that goes, too. Um, also, these uh, two are getting crowns. So if we... Aloran, and also um, the other one, will get buffs. It's early in the morning, I can't remember names right now. Um, uh, yeah, she's getting... Her estimator for herself is getting 1,500 flat magic, and also 100% 100, 100 ice amp for herself on SLB. Among a, among a lot of other things, uh, a lot of modifier buffs and things like that, so that's actually very good. Alright, here's Lauren. She has more attack on her STMR, and also a thousand flat magic for herself. And it looks like 145% uh, in peril. Also, the JP type of breaks, whatever. I mean, it's, it's fine at least. And the 87% break on that cooldown, that's alright, I guess. Um, here's the event, I believe. So you can get tickets, you could potentially get uh, the new units, but most likely you're not going to be doing that. <laughs> most likely you're not going to be doing that. You can clear these stuff, you get some lapis. It's it's just a, it's just the normal new King Mug event. If you don't know anything about the new King Mug event, I made a video all about it, I believe. Um, so go check out um, new King Mug event or re revamp or something like that. I, I'm not going to talk about that here because I'm, I'm running out of time, guys. Uh, News is still unfolding as I'm making this video, so keep 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 that in mind, guys. Um, all right, uh, Dark Rain is getting crowns. Surprisingly, I mean he's not that old. Um, this is kind of bad though. I mean, giving him crowns this early, I guess this is the time to do it. But it's like now he's basically gonna get full power forever um, with these crowns. So hopefully they'll be good. Um, I'm just I'm just kind of hoping that uh, okay we got the information. So he has 150% Dark Amp, he also has more mods up on his SLB, and also uh, 2k Magic Edition. So on Global that's going to be a lot better because remember his STMR stacks and JP does not. So it's actually very nice. Um, for sure he can get more Magic. And it looks like he's getting an STMR upgrade as well, so that's even more. <laughs> I think that might even be even more guys. So this is actually a pretty interesting crown upgrade. Depending on what the SLB mod is, it might actually make him meta for real. <laughs> unless, unless, like, un unless, un like, unlike me coping about him, um, and thinking that he's going to finally be meta because 150% dark amp. So you could time that for if you have him at EX3, you could time that to do that on turn two, and then you on turn three you have 150% dark amp, plus you got the huge SLB modifier damage move. It's actually very nice. Um, it would, it would hurt his store, hopefully they'll be fixing that, or you can use the Dark Amp with the store as well, and hopefully they'll give him more, um, than triple cast, that would be even better, right? 
Um, so. And, uh, looks like we're getting more. Oh my god. We're getting crowns for, for Rain and Fina. Finally! They're getting buffed. They need a. They, okay, they need a secret buff, and they need. They, when I call it secret buff, I mean, like, they don't tell us about it. Uh, but they need they need a huge buff for free, like what Riku had, and they need crowns, and they're getting them. But they, they need more than just crowns, guys. They need way more than just, just crowns. But I'll give them a round of applause for actually remembering them that they exist. So that's great, at least. Um, they, they, need, they do need a lot of help, for sure. We're also getting a new Reagan, who looks a lot like Jake. In the pre, like you know, a few slides ago when I showed you like the artwork of the next anniversary, I thought this was Jake. It looks like Jake, but with solid snake armor or something like that. It's just, it doesn't look like Reagan at all. I mean, the sprite does, but look at the artwork. It doesn't look like him at all. Like, what's with the hair? It looks like Jake. Like, I, I got really confused. Like, oh, Jake is back. Nope, he's not. And apparently, I don't have a picture for this, but. Um, Knights of Grand Shut is getting crowns as well, so he's gonna need a lot of help in that regard. Uh, so he's getting, I don't have any picture for that, but yeah, Knights of Grand Shut is getting a crown upgrade. He's gonna need a lot. Um, because honestly, he's already dead on arrival most, for most, for most, most people. Alright. There's gonna be a new set of trials in the month of October. We don't really know what they are, but they're supposed to be really super difficult. Um, so that's probably going to be the next power creep, guys. Alright, so there's that. Alright, and we have some daily pulls. I think it's 450 pulls in total. So that's pretty pretty normal, actually. And we're getting seven of most of these things. But only one crown and one S term rule. I mean, S term rule at this point, I mean, I got so many of them. Like, even a free play player is going to have a lot of S term rules because. You just wait until you're using the EX2 or you have, multi, you, have, you have multiple copies. The rest of the stuff is just like, okay, I guess the Emperors are- The Emperors and the, and the Ores are the best part, pretty much. I don't really see the value in any of the other stuff, pretty much, but alright. That's okay. And there will also be a- It's not really worth putting a picture for this, but there will be a- Green New Vision Guaranteed. I don't know if it's free. But it looks like it's free. Because it says on the picture that's 120, level 120, so it looks like this is for like new players. So hopefully everybody will be getting that. Um, three guaranteed new visions. But it could be anything, right? It could be literally anything. <laughs> so keep that in mind, guys. And I'm being told there's only four, about 14 new visions in the pool, so... It's uh, gonna be, probably gonna be pretty old. When I'm seeing in the picture, there's nothing, there's, it's all the old stuff that you've already seen. You probably have EX3 of. Like soul and, and stuff like that, so just like whatever, man. It's just it was it was nice to look. At, oh, guaranteed three new visions, but it's all gonna be stuff that we, it's just gonna take up more space for most of us, unless you're a new player. All right, so if you collect a whole bunch of these seventh anniversary stones, seventy, you'll get four new visions in this pool here, and it looks pretty good. There's a lot of premium units in here, but there's also a lot of not premium units in here. But there are some new units in here, like Yuffie. And also, who else we got? Um, Mid, and Bards, and the new Cloud, and Edgar, and Cecil. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in there. Get the new Gilgamesh, I'd like to see that. I would love to have that. <laughs> Give me the new Gilgamesh. That'd be great. All right. So, on the twenty second, Rain and Fina are going to be getting their crown upgrades. I think that's about it, though, guys. Like, I, if anything else comes up, I'm running out of time. So, if anything else comes up. Uh, I, I'll just, maybe I'll just type in the comment section down below later, but I think we've pretty much wrapped it up, guys. Um, there's a lot of anniversary rewards and things like that. There's a lot of pulls, new units, NVAs, crowns, looking forward to all of that and more. So stay tuned to this channel for more updates as they develop. All right. I think we're about done here. I guess this is what they they said they were going to start making things more exciting. So now we have Dark Visions Abyss, whatever that means. Um, so it looks like Dark Visions got a new vision awakening. <laughs> I actually don't really know what this means. 
but uh, it looks like they're trying to. They, they did a while ago say that they wanted to make Dark Visions some Dark Vision changes. So it looks like this is going to be the Dark Vision changes here. Um, I, I'm running out of time, guys. I gotta get I gotta, I gotta get out of here. So please excuse me. Um, I, and I'm assuming there's just gonna be some changes here, guys. And um, if there's okay, so. This is an exclusive event. Okay, I'm just I'm getting this in real time. This is an exclusive event for the for only three thousand players. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm getting out of here. This is this is funny at this point. I'm, there's there's not really any reason to talk about this then. It is exciting. Maybe on global this will change to be more than just three thousand players. Uh, I don't know how global will implement this, but hopefully it'll be just for everybody. Anyways, guys, if I if there's anything else, I'll just take the loss and I apologize um, for my coverage if I miss anything. But I gotta get out of here. I'm running out of time. I'm gonna be late. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.